Have you ever wondered, what happens when you take a breath? How does oxygen reach your blood? And what if I told you there's a hidden gateway, that decides whether air goes to your lungs or food goes to your stomach? Get ready to explore the fascinating journey of every breath you take. Air has two entry points, your nose and mouth. But which one is better? Your nose is like a superhero filter. It traps dust and warms the air before sending it down. Your mouth, on the other hand, lets in more air quickly but skips the filtering process. Now, let's follow the air as it takes its next important turn. Meet the epiglottis, the ultimate traffic controller. This tiny flap makes sure that air goes to your lungs and food goes to your stomach. Imagine what would happen if it failed. Thankfully, the epiglottis is always on duty, making sure air flows smoothly into the next passage, your trachea. This is your trachea, also called the windpipe, a superhighway for air. These C-shaped rings keep it open at all times. This highway soon splits into two called bronchi. One for each lungs. Now, the air reaches the bronchi, two main tubes leading to each lung. Look closely, these roads don't stop here. These tubes keep splitting into even smaller airways, like branches of a tree. They're called bronchioles, and there are over 30,000 of them in each lung. Now, we have reached the most exciting part, your alveoli. These tiny air sacs are where the real magic happens. Your lungs have about 600 million alveoli. Each one transferring oxygen into your blood, and removing waste gases like carbon dioxide, from your blood. If you stretched them out, they would cover the size of a tennis court. But what actually makes you breathe? Meet your diaphragm, your powerful breathing muscle. When you inhale, it contracts and moves down, pulling air into your lungs. When you exhale, it relaxes and pushes air out. So, let's put it all together, air enters through the nose or mouth, passes the epiglottis, moves down the trachea, splits into the bronchi, branches into bronchioles, reaches the alveoli, and finally, thanks to the diaphragm, oxygen enters your blood, and carbon dioxide leaves. And just like that, you've taken another breath. Now that you know how your respiratory system works, will you think twice before taking your next deep breath?